Practice is over, but for Bergen County wrestler Nick Soriano, the workout is just beginning. The 120 pounder whose high school record stands at a perfect 117 and 0 will be competing for his third state title in three years this weekend. But Nick hopes this will just be a stop on the way to a fourth straight title next year. It's something that has to be done, it's a job. And that's to dominate every, every opponent. That's how I train. I train nasty, I train hard. And uh, you know, as you saw today, I train with guys three, you know, two, three, four weight classes bigger than me. I handle myself fine, so uh, you know, I'm preparing. I'm preparing for what it takes to be the champ. Nick's sparring partner is nearly 20 pounds heavier, but Nick still sets the pace. I don't know, his mentality is it's awesome. It's, you know, it's, um, it's like he, he thinks about us, he's so focused. He doesn't have anything in, in, in his mind, just, just wrestling. Nick's freshman coach, Shane Mallory, remembers the drive he saw in Nick when he first met him. He has like this like laser-like focus, this attention to detail, and like he was, he had a routine, and he had a prep, and he knew like, he was just saying things and doing things that I didn't figure out until my senior year of college. I was like, there's just, there's something different about this kid. Like he's, he's special, and it's just, his intensity in a room is like no other kid I've ever seen. Like he hates the BS, like when practice is taking a long time to get going and everything, you just see him. He's like chewing on nails. Uh, there, was sat there was certainly satisfaction in the moment, but you know, his, his goal is to be a four-time state champ, be a four-time undefeated state champ. I don't think he's ever complacent. I think he always wants to improve upon his performance. So he's, it's, he's never good enough. There's always room to be better. The first memory I have involved in wrestling would be when my dad uh, dropped me off to the room with my older brother, Mike. He was in eighth grade, and I think uh, I was in second grade. And uh, I just remember it was, it was so much different than playing football and other sports, it was, you know, a hot room. I just remember running around the mats and, uh, you know, doing cartwheels and forward rolls and, you know, all stuff that I wasn't used to doing. And I, I really enjoyed it. So uh, from then on, I knew that this was something for me. My second year of wrestling, I went to the States. I knew when I went, I was only like 55 pounds or something like that, but I knew when I won that, that uh, I can do something, you know, I'm gonna continue to do what I'm doing. And I knew down the road, I can be something. I mean, the state tournament at all ages is something people look up to. You know, state champ, that's, those are some big words. So, you know, when I, when, I, when I could call myself a state champ, I wanted to do it again and again and again. And, uh, you know, I eventually did.